Hello guys, so I will be discussing about the quantitative relationship of electrolytic cells. So when we say quantitative, it is somehow like a mathematical equation or mathematical relationship or mathematical understanding of what happened inside the electrolytic cell. So electrolytic cells are devices that somehow use current to make a non-spontaneous redox reaction to happen. So when we say non non-spontaneous redox reaction, it is not natural. It needs something to force a reaction to happen. Unlike sa katong spontaneous redox reaction, it is natural. Naturally flowing, rugged ang reaction. But kani, it uses something like current to force a reaction to happen. So we will start by explaining quantitative electrolysis. So the goal for this quantitative Electrolysis is to calculate the numbers of moles that were used in the entire process and link it to the amount of electricity that passed through the circuit. So the formula for this is that we need to use the formula of current and we need to find the mole of electrons. So, diri sa mole of electrons, diri magamit ang Faraday's constant. Faraday's constant in is 96,500. Okay, so that's my explanation. So I have a sample problem here, and it goes like this. So if a current of 5 ampere is applied to the electrolytic cell, how much zinc in grams deposits on the zinc electrode after 1 hour? So ang atong gipangitaan ni guys is ang zinc but in grams. Okay, so this will be the solution to our first problem, which is if a current of 5 ampere is applied to the electrolytic cell, how much zinc in grams deposits in the zinc electrode after 1 hour? So in this problem, we have the given current, not a current, which is 5 ampere, and time, which is 1 hour. So the first formula that we will use for this is the current. Kani. Current is equals charge over time. Q ang symbol sa charge. So since na naman tay I which is kaning current ng 5 ampere and T which is kaning 1 hour. So we will make this simpler by solving in this way. Kani na lang. Q is equals Current times time. Kani na lang atong gamitin. Para mas sayon. So, balig bali ra ang formula, guys. So, it's equal to 5 times 60 times 60. Nga 60 times 60? It's because in 1 hour, there is 60 minutes. And in 1 minute, there are 60 seconds. So, 60 times 60. So... 5 times 3,600 and ato na yung calc which is so mauni siya ang answer so mauni ato answer sa first step nakakita na ta sa charge so our charge is equals to 18,000 coulombs ok so mauna ang first after nyo tong na ma-solve, we will proceed to the second step, which is to find the mole of electrons. So, the formula for that is columns over 96,500, which is Faraday's constant. Mone siya ang Faraday's constant. Kani 96,500. So, so, to proceed, kaning 18,000, kaning 18,000, we will divide it to 96,500. And that will equal to 0 0.187 or 0 0.19. 19 mole of electrons. So, mauni ang answer. So, 0 0.19 moles of electrons 
were forced through the electrolytic cell tungod sa battery. Okay? So, atong sunod buhaton, kay i-relate ni siya nga answer sa moles of zinc nga gipangita sa problem. So, ang atong buhaton na po is to write down the half reaction of the problem. So, the half reaction is zinc 2 plus ions plus 2 electrons will result or will produce solid zinc. So, we need 2 moles of electrons to reduce 1 mole of zinc 2 plus ions to form 1 mole of solid zinc. So, kailangan tag 2 electrons, 2 moles of electrons to form solid zinc. Okay? So, to start this, magsuwat ta o proportion. So, E electrons over zinc. Kaning zinc mo na itong ipangita, okay? So, naingon to diri na in every 2 mole, 2 moles of electrons, 1 mole of solid zinc will be produced. So, mo na itong left side nga proportion. Sa itong right side nga proportion, Atong isuwat ang point zero point nineteen moles of electrons. Okay, mo man siya ang amount nga nagamit through the entire process dito sa electrolytic cell. And ang ubus ana is X. Kaning X mauni ang zinc nga atong gipangita. To solve for the moles of zinc, guys. Ang atura buhaton is to divide 0 0.19 into 2. And we will get the answer of the moles of zinc. Okay? So, 0 0.19 divided by 2 is equals to 0 0. 0.095. So, 0 0.095 or x is 0 0.095 moles of zinc. That is the answer. Kung pila ka moles of zinc ang naproduce sa process. But, ang gipangita sa problem is ang gram sa zinc. But, we only have its mole. Okay? So, unsa man atong buhaton ana? Ang atong buhaton ana is only to multiply the moles by its smaller mass. So, atong i-multiply ang moles sa zinc by its smaller mass. So, what is the molar mass of zinc? So, the molar mass of zinc is 65.39. Okay? So, mao na yung molar mass. And ang iyahang mole is equals to pila 0 0.095. So ato ra ni ang kaning duha ato ni siyang i multiply. So 65.39 times 0 0.095 and that will equal to 6.2 grams of zinc. Okay, so in order to find grams, guys, we only need to multiply the moles of zinc into its smaller mass and we will get the final answer. So the final answer is 6.2 grams. So get it? Kasabot, guys. Mone siya ang final answer. Okay? Okay, so the next sample problem is calculate the mass of silver deposited from silver nitrate solution by a current of 2 ampere flowing for 30 minutes. Okay. So, our given again is we have current which is 2 ampere and time which is 30 minutes. So, maurige pa na tong step, guys. So, the first step is to use this formula but Naan naman gintay current, ana naman sa gintay time. We will solve it this way. So, bali na to ang formula. So, that will be charge. Kaya ang charge may wala. Charge is equal to current times time. So, we have a current of 2 ampere 
times 30 times 60. The times na to siya 60 because we need to convert minutes into seconds. Seconds kina permi ang time. So, that will equal to 2 times 30 times 60 equals 1,800. And, ato na siya eight times, that will be 3,600. So, this is our charge, 3,600 coulombs. So, mo ni siya ang answer na to ang formula. So, the next step that we need to do is to find its mole of electrons. So, 3,600 divide Faraday's law, which is 96,500. So, that will equal to 0 0.037 mole of electrons. So, mauna po ni siya ang mole of electrons nga atong i-relate sa grams sa silver nga na deposit through the process. So, the next thing that we need to do is to write down its half reaction. So, mo ni ang half reaction, guys. And kabantay mo, one electron ra ang kailangan to reduce this silver plus ion into solid to form solid zinc. So, ang kalahian na ni sa previous problem is we needed, sa katong previous problem, we needed to find the proportion or to write the proportion in order to get the answer. Kay two electrons man ang kailangan. Pero diri, one electron ra. So, we will directly so, we will directly multiply this into mo its smaller mass, the silver, to get the answer. Okay? So, kay one electron naman siya, we don't need to divide anymore. So, 0 0.037 moles times the uh, molar mass of silver which is 108 that will result to so that will result to 3.996 or 4 grams of silver were deposited from the solution of silver nitrate. So, this is the final answer. The final answer is 4 grams. So, kasabot ramo guys. So, that will be all. Thank you.